Hi, today's lesson is about selectors. So, what meant by selectors? It's the way that we select the HTML elements to add the style to it. In the last video, I've explained three ways of inserting CSS. Two of them is align and external. And we have seen that we can add the style using tag name like this. And background color. For example, to make it green. And a color. Aqua. And let me save. So now we selected the element using the tag name. And that's not new. We also can use a class and ID to select the element. So for each division here, I give it an ID. So the first one has an ID header and the second one main. And finally, the last one folder. And also, I give this paragraph in the first division a class called paragraph. And also, I give a class for the second division called contents. And also for folder has a class contents. So let me add the style using the class name and the ID. So hashtag header. So now we select the element that has an ID header, which is the first division. So let we add a background color and color. Let we make it this color and the color is also aqua. So now the second division has a background color and a color because we select the first division using its ID. Now let we add a style for the elements that has a class content. So content No, it's called contents. Now let we add a background color and color. So background color. Now let we make it, for example, this one. And color. Make it brown. So let me see which elements will be changed. So the second element and also the last element because both of them has a class called contents. The footer has a class called contents and also the main division. So as you see now, we cannot give the same ID for more than one element. Vice versa, the class. We can give more than one element the same class. I hope you notice that we select the ID using hashtag and the class using dot then the name of the class hashtag then the name of the ID so those are the three essential ways and what most of people know but what others or a little know is what coming next so keep watching and stay focused Another way to select an element is using attribute. Let me see how we can do this. So for those links, let me just select one link and add a style for it. So let me select this one, the third one. Listen to. So I will use this attribute target, which equal to blank. So square brackets. Then the name of the attribute and its value, which is blank, and then curly brackets. And let we add the styles. So let we change its background and color like usual.
so let we make it like the text here so now the color and the background color for this link has been changed but let me change the background color so we can note this and for example make it aqua nice then according to those paragraphs I want to add a style just for the title that equal to a background or a start with background how we can do this let me see we have two titles that start with background so square brackets and then the name of the attribute which is title and let me use this sign so I want to add a style for all titles that start with background so background font size and make it equal to 30 pixels so let me see which one will be changed there's something wrong yeah without any codes here so the font size change it for the last one but why not this one it start with background so this sign just select the element that has the value without any characters like this yeah it accept space character but not this character or any other characters let me see another one instead of this sign let me make this bar and see which one will be changed so this sign change the title that start with background and there is a character like this or if we make this character if we see if there is any difference okay let me see another one what about this one let me see so it will change both of them ignoring any characters and i think that's nice so we can specify the elements that have the same attribute name okay but what if the word that we want to specify is at the end what if background is at the end so let me make background at the end I'll let we use the sign dollar sign let me see so it will select both elements regardless any characters but it will select the element that end with background not start finally there is another character that select any letter and any attribute has this letter the style will be added for it let me see so what is this character asterisk and let me specify just a common letter like all of them contain O. So the style added for all of them. And I think this is the best one. So now the footer has an ID, footer, and class contents. And we used class to add a style for this footer. Let we add the style using ID and see which one will be applied the class name or the id what do we see so because it's id so hashtag and the name of the id footer and like usual let me add background color and make it sky blue and color make it light gray what we see 
So the style for the ID apply then the class name. So now the priority is for the ID. That's why the ID should be specified just for one element. And the last thing, let me add a style here for the submit button using its attribute. We can use the tag name, which is input, but it will specify both of them, the email type and the submit type. But I want to specify the submit button, so I will use the attribute type. So type, which is equal to submit. Uh, let me add a background color like this one. And make something called bedding. I will explain all of this, don't worry about it. Just to focus on how we can select the elements using the tag name, the ID, the class, how we can repeat the class to specify the style for more than one element, and how the ID is unique just for one element. And also how we can specify the element using its attribute, and we can specify the element for the attribute that has a certain value or has a certain letter but the styles, the background color, the color, padding, everything I will explain it in details so padding I will make it 10 pixels nice and the same way we can add a style for email and change here the type to be email we can use those codes or not it's up to you, no problem, and just use the padding. Nice, so that's how it looks like. Finally, there is a small tip. Let me see if I do something like this. Asterisk and add a background color. and make it something unique like red so let me see what will happen so everything in the page got a background color red except the element that has a style background color the only elements that hasn't a background color is the links here all of them has a background color red except this one which we specified before this one blank so all elements in the page that has a background color will take this color okay let me add a style that all elements in the page don't have like for example let me add border the width of the border 3 pixels and the color let me make it red and the type is solid. Now let me see. So now all the elements in the page got this border because we didn't specify it before for any element. So that's the benefit of asterisk. Asterisk specify the style to or any element that doesn't have this style. But once this element is have this style, so it won't be added. So those are the selectors that can help you to select the HTML elements. So practice well. Try to make more than one element and add a style for each one using class name, ID, the tag name, or the attribute. So as always, best of luck and see you next time.